we're going to add some color to the little pillow that uh, Sky is laying on. So I'm using a blue. I'm putting down a base coat of gray first. I usually always put the base coat of gray. I'm refining the edge with the um, black new pastel pencil. So I put a base coat down with the 7047 light gray and drawing in the, uh, the braid that's on her blanket. There's a little white edge to the blanket, so we're gonna color that in too and add dimension to that, but we're gonna outline it with the black first and uh, shade around it a little bit, just add a little bit of, uh, very lightly adding the black to the edge. Now we're adding some more gray background. We're building as always, adding a little more. I'm using the 209 Deep Warm Gray to add uh, some more accents to the, the little braided area that we're working on around the pillow. We're going to come back and add uh, more color to that, but we're going to deepen it with a gray. And we're going to add color to the pillow by using 505.8 Rembrandt Ultramarine Blue Light. This is a rather cool color for her little pillow blanket thing that she's laying on. It's fuzzy, so we're going to add a light application of color. Then we're going to take our 305 Spruce Blue and we're going to add even more dimension to the braid. We're adding another layer of color very lightly with the tip of the Spruce Blue. Going around the braid. And then we're going to come around on the other side and color in that area. And later on, we're going to add the highlights to that. And the highlights really bring it to life and pop it out. But that's the last thing that we're going to do. We're also going to use the spruce blue to um, add a dimension, another dimension to the blue little pillow. It's a, a fuzzy fleece kind of thing, so we're going to just randomly and abstractly apply color with a very light touch. We're going to use that same spruce blue to add some blue color to those darker areas on the post as we move forward to finish that. So I'm placing it in the darker areas over those pre areas where we previously applied the warm gray and some black. I'm also using it in the very, very dark area uh, where the wolf's face meets the wood. It's a very dark shadow, so we're going to use blue. Uh, I, we discussed that before, that adding the blue just gives an extra dimension to the black. So I'm going to add the blue everywhere that I see dark values. going up the side of her head. Also continuing to use my pastel in the direction the fur grows. 
And now I'm making strokes upward in following the grain of the wood. And you can see that using this spruce blue is adding a blue cast to the um, wood, which is kind of nice. I don't know where I'm going to crop this yet to frame it, so I'm going outside the lines. going around the uh, knot in the wood. Now I'm over in that really, really dark area. It's very, very dark over there. So I'm going to add some blue. Following the direction of the grain of the wood. Now I'm going to use my um, 6B charcoal pencil to, it's very, very sharp, and I'm going to use it to darken a few areas on that wood grain around those little edges, putting in the grain. Not everywhere, but some places, like on the edge of this broken wooden piece. I'm uh, using my charcoal pencil, continuing to use it to draw in some accents on this wood. I've speeded it up a little bit. Now I'm uh, placing glassine paper over the wolf to protect it so I can lay my hand on top of my drawing without damaging it and uh, coloring in these dark areas with my 6B charcoal pencil. Uh, if you don't have glassine, you can use a piece of regular paper or uh, construction paper. Whatever you happen to have, it just protects your drawing. We don't want anything to happen to that. So I'm just coloring in this super dark area with my charcoal pencil and drawing in the grain of the wood. I'm going to draw in this knot, which adds such character to this piece of wood. So I've got, I'm um, going around it. The knot protrudes, so by adding these shadows, that reinforces that and creates that optical illusion that's coming forward. And now I'm going to um, use a dark gray to add gray color. Whoops, dropped it. To add some gray color over uh, the wood and over the black that I've used. I'm using 727 blue gray. 
You could also use the 7045 medium gray. Now I'm using um, the 263 New Pastel Indian Red because the, the wood has some red color in it. And I want to add that. So I'm using my New Pastels to add color. So I'm putting it in a few places, not everywhere. Slightly coloring it in, just like you would color in a coloring book. Now I'm using the 339 3 Rembrandt, the light oxide red, to add a little more brown over the gray at the um, on the post. It's a light uh, red. I'm not using it all over, just in some places. Now I'm back to using my new pastel black, continuing to refine those areas. Now I'm going to use my ruler to get some of these uh, wood grains perfectly straight. There's one in particular that's darker than any of the others, so I'm using the ruler to draw with my um, new pastel on top of that, get it just like I want it. I'm adding some dark gray now, darkening down the post at the bottom, particularly where it goes into the shadow. I'm working these values up very slowly. Now I'm going to use that Rembrandt Black 700.5 that we used on the nose to get that shadow really, really dark in that post. I'm going to use my Black New Pastel to continue to strengthen the darks on the little scars going over them once again to get them dark enough. I'm going to speed this up a little bit for you. So we're continuing to use the black and just refining the post. Be patient in building up the layers. It really pays off. Using black to darken that knot. Now it's time to add the highlights. I started with a 219 new pastel, but it just didn't do what I wanted it to do. So I got a 249 a uh, light gray new pastel, and now I'm going to add the highlights to the post, and we're going to bring this to life. Watch how this knot just comes forward once we add the highlights. And once again, they don't go everywhere, just some places. So we want to bring the knot forward. following the grain of the wood. I love the 249. It's a light, warm gray. Doing it on the little edges. 
I'm going to speed this up for you a little bit and continue to add the light gray working in the direction of the wood grain to add a few highlights here and there. There's some little um, splintery edges, so I'm adding those highlights. And I'm going to come back with my charcoal pencil and add shadows underneath. Here I'm using that black Giro to further darken that little black, dark, shadowy area on the wood. And I'm also using it on the other side, right next to the wolf's head, to add that super dark that we need. Pulling a little bit of it over into the wolf as well. I have removed my glassine paper now. I'm going to add a little bit of the blue that we used on her pillow, the 505.8 ultramarine blue light. I'm gonna put that into the background. You can see our wood post is looking really good next to our wolf. We're getting very close to being ready to add those final hairs, but we still need to go just a little bit darker. I'm going to use my white uh, charcoal pencil to add some accents to the wood. I'm using it uh, on its side in a scratchy kind of motion just to add some accents. continuing to give it that weathered look that it has. Now I'm going to add some more darks around the eyes. I'm going to use my new pastels. This is my Cordovan 353. Just gently continue to darken the area. Use it underneath on that shadow side where it's very dark above the eye. Any place else that I think it might need some brown. I use my black, go over that ever so lightly to darken it down. Still not really putting in hairs, but it's going in the direction that the hair grows with a feathering motion.
Continuing to add more darks with the Mars Violet around the face. And in the body of the wolf. Continuing to add the browns. I speeded this up for you a little bit. So I'm using the end and I'm using a, a very light touch. So I'm adding the Mars Violet and now I'm going to add some dark gray, 704.3 dark gray Rembrandt to get those dark colors in. So now we've set up our wolf. We're ready to add our light hairs in part four.